I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And today, I'd like to present another episode of Viewer Emails. Viewer Emails, fuckers. And uh, firstly, I got an email in. And this is from Bara, Bara Z. Bara Z. Hey Archie, huge fan of yours. I'm a high schooler from Syria. Currently living in the US. I adore watches and luxury, quality luxury goods and have a small collection of watches and others. But not much uh, of bragging, not worth, not much worth bragging about. I'm currently working on a donation to what is now my favorite YouTube channel. Thank you. I just want to introduce myself and I have a small question that maybe you can answer on your video later. I hear you mention a lot of top-end brands, Rolex, Amiga, Breguet, but I don't hear you mention some brands. My question is, Hublé is about Hublé and Richard Millet. I know that Hublé is new to the game and all, but what do you think of these two brands? Are they up? They are up there when it comes to price, and I'm seeing more and more people wear them. What is your opinion on them? Any model you like, perhaps? or hate. And uh, I said to Bara, I said, Bara, Hublo, I hate. Hublo, overpriced dog shit. Richard Millet, mmm, big money, big, big money. Great brand, however, however, I'd much rather go for Patek Philippe than Richard Millet. I mean, Patek is the brand. Anyone who's a watch aficionado, they know about Patek. Richard Millet is for rich fuckers with way too much money. I mean, fuck. You know, Richard Millet may have a bit of a collectible future, but it may not as well. Go, go with Patek. If you've got that much money, get a Vacheron, get a Patek. Don't buy. You know, Richard Millet is a cool, cool brand, but it's for rich fuckers who want to show off. Okay, next viewer email, and this is from Marciano, 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 and it says, Hello, uh, he goes here, first of all, I'm a big fan of yours, I've been watching your videos for some time now, and I love it. I love it when you go off ranting, your pain makes me laugh, and your videos make me leave me in stitches, that's great, fuckers. Keep up the good work. Got a question, Archie? I was wondering if you could shed some light on it. Blank pain. What do you think of them? Are they respected in the watch? In the world of luxury watches, would you consider buying a watch from them? Blank pain 50 fathoms. What do you think about it? Would you consider it over a Rolex sub? I think the watch is great. But does the brand, the model have heart? I don't want to wear a $10,000 watch and have people come up to me and say it's not worth the money. Is it worth the money or should I get an AP, Audemars Piguet, Royal Oak? That's it for me. Archie, stay, stay safe. Mac. Okay, very, very good question. And I, I came back to him and I said, look, Blank Pain is a great brand. Great, pa great past. Very expensive. They have used some generic movements, so even though you're paying huge money, they have used some generic movements. Are they respected? I sort of think yes and no. Blank pain of old is not the same as blank pain of today, and uh, the same can be said for Breguet to an extent. Would I consider buying one? No! I think there's much better brands out there for less money. What do I think of the Blank Pain 50 Fevens? Well, it's a, it's a truly iconic watch. It's a great watch. It's fantastic. However, if you buy a Rolex Sub, it's going to retain its value much better than a Blank Pain. Definitely. Rolex is has a better retention of value than a Blank Pain ever will. And uh, I, I said to him, I, I sh shot him off an email and said, hey, have a talk to jewelers on time. They occasionally get in. The odd blank pane, and Kenny agreed. Kenny said the depreciation on the blank panes is pretty, pretty se severe. Yep, I'd agree. A Royal Oak 
from Audemars Piguet is a much better proposition. So uh, I'd have to uh, say to you, look, Blank, Blank Paint is a great brand, but it kind of had a bad period where they died. So modern Blank Paint's not the same as vintage Blank Paint, but there's still an okay watch. I personally wouldn't get one. You asked my opinion, and I've told you. So there you go, fuckers. Okay, next viewer email is from Fernando Guzman Jr. And uh, he comes and says, Hey there, I'm 28, work in law, and uh, will be an attorney in May. I don't really like the Rolex Datejust, but I did like the Ro Patek Aquanaut. Saw this on eBay. Maybe I'd get the money if it sells for a decent price. What do you think of the watch for someone like me? Do you think it's a decent price? If I purchase this Patek, it will be my only watch. Can I wear it every day? I have a small wrist, so I'm not concerned about the 36 mil size. Thanks, and by the way, miss your mean, nasty fuckers sayings in the videos. And uh, I, I, I said to him, I said, these uh, Pateks... They don't really go that cheap. That was my my opinion there. I said to him, I said, hey, you know, they're, they're, um, they're a great watch, but, um, you know, they just because it's on an eBay auction, man, just be fucking careful. It, it, it's sort of, uh, you know, what's all that appears isn't always the case. So, fuckers, be careful. And, uh, you know, this one, he sent me the link. It sold for 2000 US dollars, but the guy's got zero feedback. Do you think he's going to sell his Aquanaut for two fucking thousand? Seriously. This, you know, it's a fucking... There's scammers on eBay, man. Everyone, if it's too good to be true, often it is. Often it is. So, my advice to you there is tread very carefully zero feedback bidders man this is fucking dangerous shit very very dangerous shit so um i'd i'd um if it's too good to be true fuckers it often is okay let's shoot to a commercial break fuckers red line design and printing in las vegas nevada and my good friend, Johnny Jarzen, will look after all his customers. Johnny Jarzen from Redline Design and Printing, an impressive client list, and he's always somebody who gets, gets you over the line with Redline. And uh, they got specials, thick, glossy business cards. They've also got rush orders and luxury items. Plastic business cards, liquid business cards, and metal business cards. They have a full, full design studio. Redline, design and printing, a proud sponsor of the Archie Luxury Program. Redline, design and printing, when you need to take it to the line. Okay, fuckers, welcome back. And uh, as I was saying, just, you've got to be so careful out there. I mean, if the deal is too good to be true... Often it is. And I, I had another interesting email came in today where the guy was looking at a Louis Vuitton briefcase and it sold for very, very low money. And, and I said to him, I said, man, be careful. Often if it's too good to be true, it is. And uh, he sent me the, the, eBay, the eBay listing number. And, and I, I just got to tell you this. Right, this was a Louis Vuitton president, and uh, they, they are a fantastic, that's like my Adios briefcase, okay, it's like the Adios, it's exactly the same as the Adios, and, and it's sold fucking cheap, and uh, as, I, as I said to him, I said, man, if it sells so cheap, you've got to ask yourself, why is it selling so cheap, and often, these things are too good to be true. And it sold for about five to six hundred dollars. I mean, this was a ten thousand dollar briefcase. Do you understand? A ten thousand dollar briefcase. Who in their right mind is going to sell that 
for next to nothing. That's what I want to ask you that there. Who in their right mind is going to sell that for next to nothing? And uh, I mean, a $10,000 briefcase, sure. 5000 4000 maybe? But fucking 600 bucks? I mean, there are scammers everywhere. Scammers, scammers, scammers. And uh, if it's too good to be true, what is it? It's either going to be stolen, it's hot, which you don't want anything to do with it, or it's a fucking scammer trying to get you to send the money and uh, you're going to waste time on PayPal, filing disputes, proving... Uh, you know, it's just, if it's too good to be true, often it is there. So, fuckers... Be careful. Okay, next viewer email is from Ross Luger. Hi, Archie. I love your videos. I find your opinions to be spot on. I'm 23 years old and live in the United States. I've been collecting since I was 16 years old. Many of the watches I've purchased have been at a really good price because, like yourself, I'm not rich but love luxury goods. Many watches I buy to resell and it helps me fund my interest in the hobby. In my collections, I have two 18 karat chronographs that look good but were bought cheaply. 700 for the pair. A few gold Rolexes that I have bought cheaply or got for free after selling an estate of watches for a friend. Also in my collections, Amiga Seamaster Professional and a brand new Seamaster Aquaterra. I also have an IWC Mark 15 Pilot Watch. Archie, if you could do a review. That'd be great. And I gotta say, you sent me a link, but fuck, the video quality was appalling. I can't do a fucking review when the when when it's not in when it's not even in focus. Ross, I love you to death. I'm so proud to have you as a fan, but fuck Ross! If the video is just out of focus, man, it's fucked. It's fucked. And finally, I'd like to have a talk about a serious matter here and uh, I was trolling around the internet and I, I came across this story on um, it was it was on YouTube and uh, I'm gonna put a doc I'm gonna put a link to it and this is not a joke this is serious the perfect vagina and it talks about people in England who've had operations because they don't like the appearance of their vagina and this is just fucking awful shit. How can, how can people be so, so <clears throat> body conscious? I mean, what basically the article was saying is, is that a lot of people in the porn industry have had operations on their vagina to look a certain way. And then modern women think that that is how all vaginas are supposed to look. And man, I just got some advice for you. If you've got a honey, just tell her you love her vagina, okay? Fuck! You know, I mean, this is just so fucking awful. People's self-esteem depends on their vagina? I mean, I've, I'm yet to see a vagina I have not loved and I have not, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I just can't believe it. I mean, are some of these assholes... I mean, I haven't watched television in years, but uh, I, I just can't believe it. I mean... Is that the way the world is now? You know, it's just... I don't know what to say, really. But, um, yeah, so look, if you if you know someone who's a bit sensitive, like a girlfriend or your wife or your mistress, just tell her, hey, you love it. You love her girly bits and not to think about stupid things. I'm Archie Luxury. I hope you've enjoyed this, this uh, today's viewer emails. Keep the questions coming and see you later, fuckers! See you later. Nice one, Archie. Yeah, it's important you uh, set a moral standard. And, and um, these women who, who get stupid operations done, it's completely dangerous and it's just not called for.